The global pandemic forced everybody inside, but the murders of George Floyd and Breonna Taylor brought millions back to the streets in protest. Did you all join the protests? Were yeah, any of y'all involved yeah. in stuff? Front line. Yeah, we were exactly. front line. I feel like it was more so like a calling. Like, I need to go out there and represent, you know, not even just for me, but for the streets, for the city, for the people, especially the tattoo shop. We represent the streets. If we not out there, who else out gonna be out there? And we was right in the face of people, like really out there front lining, just mad and angry. But we was going all over the city, I feel like, protesting, even made officers take a knee for the first time before it was like a thing to film. We was a part of that little moment. And was right in the face of people. That's what it's all about. We actually, you know, scooped a bunch, hundreds of free ISIS and just actually went out to the protest, you know, before the looting and was handing it out to people to let them know that, you know, happy ISIS is standing with it, Lamar Mitchell is standing with it, you know. That's we, dope, we, man. We, 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 we're and necessary. It. That's what we need more businesses to stand up and say, we support exactly. Black Lives Matter. Exactly. And we support the right to protest. Among the peaceful protests, LA also dealt with looters. Take a look at this never before seen footage from Lamar. Oof. Lemire, what was happening out there? I was out there and I was just honestly just protecting what I was doing because the looting didn't really have a real agenda. It was more so just to destroy. Thankfully, uh, the Happy Ice storefront went untouched and Lemire kept the camera rolling to document the aftermath. Damage that. Damage Japan, LA. Crazy. Smashed out the nail salon next door. But they didn't touch Happy Ice. Lemire, how relieved were you that Happy Ice wasn't touched after everything that was happening? I was super relieved. Once the looting happened, and I let them know, you know, this is my store, it's black owned. And uh, they all kind of like formed around it, protecting me. It was like basically saying, you know, Happy Ice is good, Happy Ice is good. Shout it out to everybody. Everybody re-shouted it. I was there and I saw it firsthand. Like yeah. you, like me and my fiance were there before it happened and people were walking by, kind of casing, looking, and they started talking to Lemire and they, they, you saw the respect that they showed him. And you could literally hear people next door breaking in yep. to the other places. And there was people he didn't even know standing right there in front of his store, like, no, nah, just don't touch this one. The death of George Floyd and Breonna Taylor affected all of us. And this was a moment of coming together of struggling together, and of getting justice together. I'm so glad y'all stood up and spoke out. Hey, y'all, it's your boy, Caesar, Black Ink CEO. And if you don't know me, the reason why is you ain't subscribed to the VH1 YouTube channel. At the end of the day, you already know. That's the number one channel on YouTube. And if you don't got it, I guess you just watch the number two.